victory and I surrender. What's up, Damo? Happy Easter, brother. I love you, man. Woo! How you doing, buddy? I hope everything is going well. Uh, everything going good with the ministry. Jesus is working and Jesus is working hard, Damo. Uh, I'm excited. This is one of the happiest Easter's I ever had in my life. I'm just so... I'm just so enjoying getting to know about God. And uh, Hi, Steph. I love you, buddy. Hi, Glenn. Hi, Adam. Mary Ann, I love you. Happy Easter. Happy Easter, everybody. This Easter's so special to me. You know? People think about Easter like the Easter Bunny and Good Friday. Do you know what Good Friday is to me? I even learned a bit more today. Do you know Jesus? He was more than nailed to the cross. And I'm going to talk about drug addiction. I came out here to talk about drug addiction, but I got to talk about God first. Because <laughs> he's me father and it's his day, not my day. And he's the one who lets me come out and play. Hi, Albert. How are you, brother? And, uh, you know, he wasn't just nailed to the cross put thorns on his head. He had every bone in his body broken. My God was broke up. Happy Easter, Lauren. I love you, buddy. Happy Easter, Krista. I love you, Krista. I love you all. But my God, he had all his bones in his body broken. He had all his bones in his body broken, man. He was beat. Sarah, happy Easter, Sarah. I love you. Sarah. I love you, Sarah. But yeah, you know, I never slept all night trying to learn about Easter and Good Friday and Jesus. And yeah, man, he was tortured. You know, he had all these bones broke for us. It was given free. Free for us. We complain if we break our finger. And it's okay to complain. But when you blame Jesus for stuff, remember how broken and hurt he was. All his bones were broken. Everything. Then he was nailed to the cross and thorns on his head. And that's why it's the blood of Jesus. You can't take the blood of Jesus out of no churches. It's the blood that runs on the earth. I'll never let no one not tell me what the blood of Jesus is. It's not just Jesus died on the cross. The blood of Jesus ran everywhere for us, for our little sins. Hi, Hawk. I love you, buddy. Stop, Huck, I can't get no stronger, buddy, because I start bending railroad tracks. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I be nine months. I've been the happiest person in the world. I was, I wasn't sad hardly. <laughs> I'm powered by Jesus, man. Like you know, I'm just gonna walk the walk now to show people how my life is changing. But anyway, that's what I was going to say. God, he had every bone broken his body. Every single Jesus bone was broken his body. It's more than he was just nailed on the cross. You know, and before I go talking about drug addiction, just give him a little bit of credit. When you ask a prayer and it don't happen right away, it's going to happen. If you believe it, you got to believe. You just can't say a prayer and go to bed and think it's going to happen. Say a prayer, love Jesus. 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 And it will come true. Happy Easter, Caroline. Happy Easter, sweetheart. I love you. I had nice fish today. I had salmon. I had some cod. I did good. Woo! Jesus is always good. And uh, we... <laughs> This girl has been coming around Jessica's my cousins for since I've been here. And she's sniffing around. <laughs> so I went for a run with her today. I had to go with her. God said, go with her, Harold. 
She said, I want a Jesse first, but you can come. Uh, Jesse won't go. I said, good. I said, do you believe in God? Nope. No, I don't believe in God. Huh? No, I said, that's probably why you drives a little bit fast. <laughs> and she starts laughing at me. But anyway, me and Jesse are just talking to her. She wants to believe in Jesus Christ. God is moving. God is working. If you want something now, give your cards to the Lord Jesus Christ. Give everything to Jesus, and he's going to help you. Now, hold on. i got to calm down. Holy Spirit, leave me alone. <laughs> oh, I'm going to read more Bible in a minute, but I want to talk about drug addiction. Listen, I'm talking about for my purpose, for my being. I'm just, I'm talking to Harold Williams in the mirror. Harold, did you ever do drugs, Harold? Yeah, I banged up cocaine, Harold. I, I did Oxycontins. I had sex with a lot of women. Uh, I got children from different women, but I can't find peace. Oh, what? You can't find peace? Uh... Okay, when someone tells you to do a, a drug that can kill you because they tell you it makes you feel good, drug addicts, we go do it on the word of another person. Well, how about on the word of an ex-drug ex addict? Take it from me. Why don't you just give the Bible a shot for once? It's not going to kill you. It's going to freaking heal you. <laughs> Please listen to me, boy. I'm not selling... Don't get mad at me because I'm not selling you dope no more. Love me because I'm selling you hope. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Listen, how about we break it down a little tiny bit? From now on, when you're mad or something, when you're mad at the world or you're mad at your husband, son, go put it on paper and just say, Dear God. Dear God, this is what I'm mad at. Start with that. Just get up. If you're a brand new Christian and you're thinking, is Harold crazy or has Harold really no God? Just, just go with that I'm crazy and I know God. And get a piece of paper. And when you're angry, go to the paper first. Say, dear God, I'm mad at my wife. Dear God, I'm mad at my children. Dear God, I'm mad because I never got the job. Dear God, I'm really jealous of my brother. And just keep doing that. See how it works for you. And then get back to me. Because why people will go do a drug, somebody says, here's a drug. And you say, is that drug any good? Well, yeah, look what it does for me. Okay, give me <laughs> so I'm telling you here's a bible or a big book from AA or NA here's the book give it a shot because it saved my freaking life amen it's time to get real now there's AA, NA all over the internet. The internet's on fire. It's a hotbed to learn about drug addiction, to learn about God, to learn about living life. God shut the world down. Drug dealers are losing money now too. <laughs> Praise God. Take everything off that kills everybody, Jesus. Get rid of drugs, Jesus. It kills people, Jesus. Yeah, I sold it. God forgave me. Let's get real. There's a lot of... I think liquor's gone up 50% in sales. Eddie Jordan. Merry Christmas. Uh, happy, happy Easter, Eddie. Happy Easter, Terry. Happy Easter, Richard. Jason, I love you. Uh, liquor sales has gone up 50%. It's probably more now. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm with the fentanyl users. I'm with the, I'm with the guys that are smoking the meth. Everybody's whacked. You don't know what they're doing. It's time to get real and get right. The world is going to be hard to live in. When this settles and we go back to work, if we do, the world's going to be hard to live in. You got to start doing it clean and sober or you're going to fail. You're going to fail. You're going to lose everything. You're going to hit rock bottom and it's hard to get up. 
Take the gift now. People says, you got to wait till you hit rock. You got to wait till you hit rock bottom. No, you haven't. Let's get it now. Who cares about rock bottom? What do you want to see that for? Jesus, I had to see rock bottom. I don't want to see it for you. And I love AA. I love NA. I love the fellowship. Because you're going to get like-minded people to hang around with. When Jesus gets you and takes you out of it, you got beautiful people in your life. They don't like drugs. They don't like alcohol. They like living. They like living. And you can do it. Believe me. You can all do it. You can all come out of addiction. Tell me what you want to do live feeds on. I'm going to start having guests on again. I want you to tell me what you want to talk about. What do you want to talk about in drug addiction? Relapse? Enabling? Uh... Uh, husband's in addiction, wives in addiction. Tell me what you want to talk about. I'm going to get some special guests on. It's time to rock and roll for my ministry. I'm taking my ministry where God wants it. I'm jacking it up. I'm Real Talk Ministries. I'm going into the Bible. I'm finding out about addictions. And I'm bringing it to you real. I was chosen for addictions. God said, I don't need to focus on him so much. Get real with the addictions, Harold, and save these hurting children. They're my children, Harold. It's time for you to start saving these guys. People say you can't save an addict. Bullshit. People say you can't get them till they're down and right out. Bullshit. It's time to step it up. This is a new world. Step it up. Let's get real. Let's get it right. I'm sick of people saying we can't do it. We can't do it. We can't do it. We can do anything we want. Jesus can stop your addiction right now, right in its tracks. I'm changing it up, man. I'm keeping it real. You don't have to hit rock bottom. No, you don't. Jesus, don't tell me that. If I had someone like me tell me I could, I didn't have to hit rock bottom, I would have listened. No, Toby, they told me, get more women. Get more drugs. Be better. Be bigger. Be brilliant. Break the law. Well, I'm here to tell you, I'm done. I'm jacking up this ministry. Whatever questions you got, I'm going to Scripture. I'm going to find out what Jesus says about it. And I'm telling you real what the answer is. And if you want a good life, you better listen to Jesus. Listen. <laughs> Woo, Holy Spirit, let me relax. I didn't want to be preaching this. Times are bad out there. Alicia, Michelle Scott, happy Easter. I love you, Michelle. I love you. Happy Easter, Tracy. Alicia Sale, I love you. Happy Easter. I'm coming after my ministry. I'm getting my ministry in the Newfoundland this year. I'm having my ministry one way or the other with my addiction center. Yeah, how do I know? Jesus told me I'll get it for Easter because I'm a good follower. I listen to Jesus and I'm coming. I'll be in Newfoundland next week or so. I'm coming to Newfoundland. Get ready. <clears throat> but let's get it real. Don't let nobody tell us no more. You got to hit rock bottom. Bull. Uh, you can't help them. They got to want it. Bull. Happy Easter, Deb. I love you, Deb. I love you. I love you. I love you. Because how do I know? I'm so happy. I'm drunk on the Holy Spirit. I'm high on the Holy Spirit. I, I only cry because I feel people's pain like Jesus do. Nothing hurts me. I still got core chase cases. I still got a, 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 a freaking a, a bedroom out there. My truck I don't drive. Who cares? Live life one minute at a time. I'll try my best, Richard. If I can get someone to drive me, I'll come out and meet you, brother. I will. Uh, it's time, you know. If anybody's struggling in addiction, please inbox me if you want to chat, man. I don't judge you. I don't tell your stories to no one unless you want me to tell you. I know I could help you. I got lucky the other day, made one phone call, got a girl in rehab when nobody was taking nobody in Ontario. And Jesus is that good. Jesus is that good, he will open up a door when all doors are closed. That's how much he loves his children in addictions. You know what I mean? I'm no one special. 
No, I'm not. I'm just a broken-ass preacher being powered by Jesus. God is my teacher. I'm the preacher. I don't say nothing till Jesus tells me. I found the Spirit was even left me for days, but he's back again now. And Jesus says, you're his hands and feet. If you're in addiction, you're God's feet. If you're in addiction, you're God's hands. Get up and move. Don't let the devil keep you for moving your feet in the direction of God and goodness. Because when the devil intervenes, he will send you to drugs. He will send you to whorehouses. He will send you to crack houses. He will send you to beat up people. That's the devil. Keep your feet and your hands moving in the front of Jesus. Now let me know whatever you want to talk about on addictions and I'll invite that one special guest on who knows about that, whatever you want to talk about. Okay? I'm going to start checking it up. I love you all. Peace out. God bless. If you want to be put on a dance party later on, we'll put on a dance party. Beep. I love you all. Happy Easter, Paula Mallers. And uh, God... Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I came on the real line. Okay. Victory... Victory through surrender. Read Philippians 2, 12, 18. The world's philosophy is that joy comes from aggression. Fight everybody to get what you want. And you will get it and be happy. Lies. The example of Jesus is proof enough that the world's philosophy is wrong. He never used a sword. Or another weapon. Yet, he won the greatest battle in the history. The battle against sin and death and hell. He defeated hatred by manifesting love. He overcame lies with truth. Because he surrendered, he was victorious. There is twofold joy that comes to those who possesses and practice the submissive mind. A joy hereafter and a joy here and now. In the day of Christ, God is going to reward those who have been faithful to him. But we do not have to wait for the return of Christ to start expecting the joy of submissive mind. The joy is present reality, and it comes to sacrifice and service. Something to ponder. What are some of the here and now joys you experience on a regular basis? How can you increase, how can you increase this level of joy? And if you want to answer them questions and inbox me, we can have a chat about your answers. I think it could change your life. Let me just ask you this question again. What are some here and now joys you experience on a regular basis? How can you increase this level and joy? I'd like for you to really inbox me and answer those questions because it could help a lot of other people struggling in the world. So if you'd like to answer them, please, I would love it. But for me, to read this, that joy comes from aggression. I always taught, um, Happy Easter, Gail. Anto Reddick, Happy Easter, brother. I love you. God, God loves you. Harold loves you. Harold loves you all. But the world's philosophy is that joy comes from aggressive. And it's a shame. Even men, we're, we're told to be aggressive right from little boys. Don't cry. Be tough. If anybody hits you or anybody hit, thinks about hitting you, smash them. It's wrong. It's a wrong way to live. That kind of aggression gets you nothing, only a broken heart every time. Because nobody likes hurting another human being. We're not born to hurt other people. And when we hurt other people, we hurt ourselves way more than we hurt another person. How do I know that I hurt a lot of people? But I didn't. I hurt myself. Okay? Happy Easter, Gert. I love you. Happy Easter. I love you, Gert. How's Noofy treating you? 
Even though you're locked in, you're still in Newfoundland. I love you, Gert. Um, he never used a sword. Jesus never used a sword or a weapon. He won the greatest battle in history. He battled sin, death, and hell. We can't even battle... We can't battle hell. We, we can't battle sin. But anytime I used a weapon, I got time in jail. <laughs> and I had problems right now until the current time because I use a real weapon. I use my Bible now. There's nobody will step up against me. There's nobody going to hurt me. No weapon form shall prosper. You're built on a firm foundation. When God is for you, nothing can stand against you. How do I know that? Before I became a Christian, I wouldn't let nobody call me a rat or a goof. I took it personal and I would have killed you one time in my life. I would have killed you for it. And, uh, you know, now... You can call me what you like. I love God. You can't hurt me, man. I got a Bible. <laughs> People want to hurt me, they know. They're going to be judged one day. Even if they don't know God, they're thinking, if I hurt Harold, will God get me? If I hurt Harold, will God get me? Yeah, you can't hurt me. God's going to get you before you hurt me. So that is the greatest weapon in the world. It's a freaking Bible. <laughs> and about being submissive be submissive it's not about just saying prayers and think you're going to get everything from God because that's not the way it works okay you just don't get everything because you say a prayer okay you got to have so much love in your heart and you got to serve God you got to serve him he's got to be the father he's first I'm second. Everybody else is last. You're on the same playing field. I don't care if you got $50 million or you got no dollars. You're equal in my life. God is first. I'm second. Because God says I am. God's learning me the Bible. He's learning me the truth. He's showing me the way. He's showing me the high road. So I'm special. But you're all just as special as I am. God loves you all the same way. And do you know what I learn and know what I know? Because I see it's happening. God is letting me heal people. God is getting people to run to Jesus. God is getting people in rehab. Because he loves me and I serve Jesus. If Jesus can heal, I can heal. If Jesus can heal, you can heal. You just got to wake it up and use the power. Everybody wants their children to have a perfect life. Well, give your heart to Jesus and give your children a perfect life. What are you waiting for? It's real. It works. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And he is king. He got all these bones broken. You're whining because you got no food. You're getting free government money. Shut it up and raise your children. God had Jesus had all these bones broken. He was stabbed in the eyes. He was pierced in his head. Whew, I'm starting to get a headache. Hold on, Holy Spirit. <laughs> So it's time to surrender. If you got someone sick in your house with cancer, do you want prayers? If you're a drug addict, send me your prayers. Come on, do you want prayers? Now tell me if you need a prayer. Does anybody need prayers? Let me show you how they work. Let me show you Jesus' miracles. What's happening? What's wrong with you? What are you struggling with? Tell Jesus he's listening. Give me some prayers. Let me pray for you. Or if you're afraid, inbox me. Let me pray for you. Let me help you. If you're in depression, God heals that. God is above depression. If you're in drug addiction, God is above drug addiction. If you're in depression, God is above depression. God is above all disease. Hallelujah, Jesus. Whew. 
God, you hear everybody out there. Happy Easter, Ronald. Happy Easter, Sherry. Happy Easter, Barbie. Jesus, I know I don't need to lay hands on people. You know who I'm talking about. Jesus, whatever prayers they got in their brains, Jesus, please answer their prayers. I'm, I'm going to tell you, Jesus, I know you're answering their prayers right now. I thank you, Jesus. If there's somebody suffering in depression right now, I know it. Jesus is giving you complete healing over your depression. Let it go. Thank Jesus for your healing in depression. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And I know there's somebody out struggling in drug, drug addiction. Get up and get moving. God has given me confirmation that you're going to be healed of your drug addiction. You got to get up. You got to let it go. And you got to let God thank Jesus and get moving. Your drug addiction is healed in the name of Jesus. Yeah. You might think I'm crazy, but somebody's going to go off tonight and they're going to have no more depression in them. And there's somebody going to get away from drug addiction. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus, I want the coffee. I guess none of you want prayers, I'm going to say. Reaver Dirty, and I got to go have fun making a puzzle with the kids. I still want to get me tea plucked out. And I'm kind of mad. The girl we brought to rehab yesterday, I gave her my Bible. Now I don't have a Bible. <laughs> Kenny, don't get mad at me, Kenny. I gave away the Bible you gave me. <laughs> Hi, Brenda. Brenda, happy Easter, sweetheart. My, oh, Kenny, they're all cheating. Look, he popped up. Kenny, did you hear me? Brenda, happy Easter, sweetheart. God loves you so much. I'm sorry I get excited. If if anybody wants to hear a mild preacher, they better get off me wild because there's nothing mild about me. <laughs> I'm crazy for Jesus, man. What do you want me to do? Shoot me because I'm crazy? But uh, happy Easter, Brenda. I love you. Kenny, I gave away the Bible you gave me. Don't get mad at me. The girl was going to rehab yesterday. I gave away the Bible. I got to get another one. I need to get some sleep. I'm wore out. Kitchener's full of people that need Jesus. They're coming to me and Jesse left and right. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to start having guests on tomorrow night. Some nights I'll have drug addiction. Some people I'm going to have people on giving their testimonies of how they come out of drug addiction and found Jesus Christ. Tomorrow night I'm starting... Uh, 8 o'clock Ontario time. I'll let you know what guest I'm going to have on. If anybody ever wants to be a guest and tell their story, inbox me. Let's start working for Jesus. It's time. Now, this is the new word. You got it now, Christians? It's time. Yeah, I will, Ken. It's time to turn up the heat for the body of Christ. We're too lukewarm. We got to turn up the heat. I don't care if you're a Christian in church and you think that's enough. I don't care if you got your certificate to be a preacher. Still not enough. It's time to turn up the heat and act like Jesus. Because you're no one special not to be doing the stuff Jesus didn't do. Get in the trenches and start working with everybody that's broken. We can preach the word everywhere. The church has got to stay open, but we got to move out to the streets and let's get going. We need to turn up the heat for Jesus. Amen. I love you, Wayne. How are you, buddy? I hope all is well, Wayne. Happy Easter to you and your family. Send my love to you. I'm just loving my walk with Christ, Wayne. I don't ask for nothing. I don't want nothing. I just want to help people, man. I'm a revolutionary preacher. Hey, Lorna. Happy Easter, Lorna. Lorna, did I ever tell you I love you?
Lorna, did I ever tell you I love you, Lorna? Oh, don't answer me, eh? Happy Easter then, Lorna. And it's time, eh? Let me tell you one little thing I like for everybody to do. If you got a loved one in your life, if you got a woman or a man, a husband or a wife in your life, that you tell everybody and you tell her you love her or you love him to pieces? Words are cheap. Actions are loud. Step it up. Because that girlfriend is not yours. That boyfriend is not yours. The husband is not yours. The wife is not yours. It's a gift from Jesus Christ. Okay? Take it from me. I'm single. I never had a I never had a girlfriend in three years. And I'm lonely. I want one. But I'm not gonna take one that I could break more than what she's already broken. If I can't put a lady back together again, I'm gonna stay out of her life. Because if I let her in my life, I'm gonna break me and her. I want a lady that we can put each other back together and look at each other every minute of the day and say, I love you. If I can't look at my wife 10 times a day and tell her I love her, I'm out of it. I'm done. If she's not my best buddy, I'm out of it. I'm done. If I don't put her next after me, God first, me second, then my wife, and treat her good. Or or women. People always sidestep women. Now women are a bit bad too. Women. Treat your men better. Don't be lusting after another man. If you don't want your man. Divorce and get rid of each other. Or come to me. And let me tell you how, uh, how God wants you to do it. If you want a good relationship. Ask Jesus for the answers. Amen. If you bring all your questions to the Bible, you will get the right answers and you will make the right choices. There's no room for failure. If you read the Bible, there's no room for failure. Failure is non-existent. Will you fall? Oh, we all fall. But we get back up and we learn from what we fall from. And Jesus is the man that will pick you up every time you fall down. Jesus don't turn his back onto you. Jesus don't call you a traitor. Jesus don't throw mud in your face. Jesus doesn't spit at you. He'll pick you up every single time. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. And if you got any questions for me, Concerning your beliefs in the system or God, send me the questions inbox and I'll get you the answers. Uh, Tushy, um, happy Easter, buddy. I love you. Happy Easter, Mark. Uh, happy Easter, April. God bless you and your family. I hope everybody's uh, being safe. Everybody's fed and everybody's nourished from their head to their feet. And... I pray the Holy Spirit attacks people that comes on my Facebook. I praise for the Holy Spirit to attack you and show you the way of life to Jesus. I really do. Eddie, hey, Eddie, uh, happy Easter, buddy. I love you, man. Ed, God bless you. Cassie, happy Easter. Laura Marie, I love you, Laura. <laughs> Laura, I can't wait to do videos with your children and I'm really proud of your children, Laura. I brag about them. I'm sorry. But I want to show people how ch children should be raised with love. You can't go wrong with love. <laughs> like, if anybody don't know what God is or who he is, God is, God is just love. God is special, but he's big love. And if you raise your family with love, you're not going to go wrong. You raise your children with love, you're not going wrong. You raise your, you, you, you have your marriage with love, you're not going wrong. 
It's not easy just to, to get up and love someone but God, though. He learned you the way. Corinthians 1, 1 Corinthians 13. 1 Corinthians 13, Justice told me. I don't know. That's why she's my partner. 1 Corinthians 13. You want to you wanna know love? Love that way. You want to know love? You love that way. And you love everybody that you come, come in contact with in your life. If it's someone down on the street, or if it's a millionaire that you think you got to kiss his bum to try to get into his millionaire club, it ain't going to get you no farther. Either way, just he treat him with, do him with love, and you're going to live better. You, 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 the benefits are they're just so, just so huge and vast. You, you get a check from God, and you can put your own zeros on the end of it. You go to work in life being ignorant and turning your blind eye to people. You get a thousand dollar check. Jesus, you can put numbers on it. Me and Jess are witnesses. We're getting money coming in our bank account. We don't even know where it's coming from. Jesus is so good. I had, I had, I had salmon today. Crab stuffed. Crab stuffed. A big piece of fish. <laughs> My, you know what I mean? I'm sorry to homeless. We gave some away. <laughs> but it was good. Jesus is good, man. I never tasted that bite since I left Newfoundland. Just you love God or what? I do. <laughs> but anyway, let me know what you want to have on the first guest. Uh, if you just want to hear about drug addiction, I'll get someone on tomorrow night to tell a story live with me. And every night I'm going to have different guests on. It's going to be people talk about they came from the addiction and they came to Christ. I'll get some to leave Christ out of it. Nah, uh, that's a lie. <laughs> you don't want to hear Christ around the way. Wrong sight. Get off and beat it or stay and heat it. I love y'all. David, are you still sober today? Oh, that's the other David. Sorry, David, you're beautiful. I know you love God. <laughs> are you sober, though? <laughs> uh, David, is God first in your life? Is God first? Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. When God is first, you'll never be last. If you got God in your life and you're still coming up third and fourth and fifth in the race, oh, you better jack it up. You better find out who God really is because you're never last when you're with God. You're second. I wins every race now. I can't even run. <laughs> the only one beats me is God. Jesse can't even beat me. Nope. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> But, <laughs> but I love talking about this. I'm excited Martin about Jesus. Jesus. Oh, uh, she's going to have me crying in a minute now. She better be quiet. <laughs> Boys, do you think I'm a pussy? Because <laughs> I am. <laughs> no, I, her husband calls me spongy. <laughs> he says, Harold. He says, no, he says, what do you ask, spongy? But when you cry and you become like a piece of sponge, you know you found your way in life. Yeah. Can you, can you, Laura, tell Kenny you still see me online, Laura, will you? Kenny, you're getting it. <laughs> I'm joking, I can't give it to Kenny. He's bagged out. Oh, yeah, keep dialing, Kenny, bye. <laughs> Kenny, you're getting it. Every time it rings, you get another slap. One, <laughs> two, <laughs> three. <laughs> Four. Oh, he's dead. He can't handle four smacks from me. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Kenny. <laughs> yeah, Kenny, I miss you too. Boy. Hang up the phone with you. Kenny, can you hang up the phone, Lord? Tell him hang up the phone, Lord. Yeah, happy Easter, David. God bless, my friend. Hi, Barry. How are you, Barry? God bless you, my friend. Never see you in a while. I hope life is treating you good. Put God, put God first, Barry. I don't know where he's at in your life. I'm a preacher now, boy. I can't help it. What, do you want me to talk about gangster stuff? Nah. Nah. Listen, I love you. I gotta go do a puzzle. I love y'all. I'm just going to say now, God 
Father, can you heal? God, my heavenly Father, can you heal the world? Father God, just protect and keep the death toll down. We don't need people dying in this world. I know whatever is your will is your will, Jesus, but I know you never had no hand in making people die. So put a stop to it whenever you want to do it, Jesus. I think people are listening to you. I think people are finding their way into your heart, Jesus. They feel their God. And I will keep on preaching if you keep on teaching me. But let's heal this world in the name of Jesus. Let's make this disappear, Father God. And I ask for this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. What's up, Patty Murphy? Happy Easter, buddy. Anybody's in drug addiction, enjoy it. You're going to be quitting it soon. God don't want you doing drugs. It's a better life. How do you say it? It's a better life. I'm Holy Spirit, my son. 55. I'll go 10 rounds with Mike Tyson now if I had him. Mm. I'm, not, I'm telling you, God got me supernatural strength. There's something wrong with me. I cries at the drop of a hat. The homeless man had me crying so much today I nearly passed out. <laughs> I got hit with baseball bats. Couldn't make me cry. Is everybody doing okay? Can every, can anybody? Is there anybody speak on this? Or they, is everybody okay? Is everybody living? Does anybody need any prayers? Does anybody need any food? Does anybody need a heart? <laughs> I got no drugs to give you. You can talk to me. You know, this is because I got no drugs. <laughs> that I've been chosen by Jesus to do this but God, God got me so excited about him loving him and he was my father and I'm a new creation I just start preaching I forgot about teaching I'm chosen for drug addiction I got to get back at it I got some very powerful guests that want to come on and speak Powerful, powerful people. So I'm going to ramp up my ministry, man. God said, don't focus on women. Focus on your ministry. You're not getting a wife yet, Harold. <laughs> Jesus said, Harold, you're married to me. <laughs> not a bad marriage. If he comes back to get his bride, I hope I'm his bride. Because <laughs> I heard God is coming back to collect his bride. I want to be his bride. He'll never cheat on me. He'll never beat me. And he'll always treat me good. Because he always did. He's just treating me a lot better now because I serve him. Loyalty. I got no fear of preaching. I got no fear of being judged. I got no fear of the coronavirus. I go to the homeless. I wave snots off his face today. People said, don't. I said, don't tell me what to do. Give me some tissue. I went to the bean chest, went to the drive through got tissue. I wiped the snots off his face. Because I'm powered by Jesus. That's what Jesus done. Jesus went with the lepers. Jesus put hands on the lepers. That was contagious. You would die. Jesus did not die from a disease. He died because he got tortured and mangled and ran and smashed and cracked and broke up in his friggin' health. What if your brother or your friend, somebody beat up your friend and smashed him with baseball bats and ran them over and stabbed him and put thorns on his head? Would you help them? Would you give him love? Well, that happened to Jesus. Okay? Way more than we could ever handle. We could never handle the pain that Jesus got. We're too weak. We're sinners. We're weak. Jesus never sinned. Jesus stood steadfast. You could not make the man sin. But he suffered. 
more than we'll ever suffer. So don't worry about your sufferings because your sufferings are blessings. Okay? Your sufferings are blessings. You just don't see it yet. But one day you'll wake up and you remember what you suffered from was a blessing. It was turned around to disguise because you didn't know how to handle it. But Jesus gave you the lesson. Jesus gave you the teaching. You cannot be a better person. You cannot grow in life if you don't fail or falter or sin. But we don't need to sin no more. Jesus got us. Jesus is backing us. And Jesus is our father. God bless. Jill, you came out late. I love you all. I just got to go deal with a girl now. We're trying to give her heart to Christianity. The girl that didn't want to believe in God. <laughs> I said, you're here. You already, you want to believe in God because you hear us preaching. When we preach, we don't have to do nothing. People says, Harold, but you're not supposed to boast and you're not supposed to tell about stuff you done. I said, you do what you want. Whatever God tells you, that's what you do. God said, I'm an internet preacher, I'm a street preacher, and I got a post. Because people say, if Harold Williams can do it, I can do it too. And I'm showing the world, because the world, I think, they'll say, what are you showing it for? Because you're the people that talk about it and never do it. I talk about it, I do it, and I show it. Because that's the way the world should be. Instead of looking at CNN and looking at the news and going out and committing lies and doing stuff you shouldn't do. Just get with the Lord and do the Lord and be the Lord and serve the Lord the way you want to do it. We're all different. We're all on our own walk with Christ. I'm on mine. Don't interfere with it because Jesus won't like it. He is my Father. Amen. Have a good night. God bless. I'm so blessed that I got Jesus. I had a big load of fish today. Here with company all day. Getting a big dessert, a big feed on Chris Easter. I love Jesus. Thank you for your blood. Thank you for your stripes, Jesus. If it wasn't for your blood and your stripes, I wouldn't exist. Thank you.